In this section of chapter 17, we're going to investigate the nature of genetic mutations. A mutation is a permanent change in a cell's DNA affecting the base sequence of a gene. Although often referred to as a random event, mutations aren't for the following reasons. For one, they are caused by definite physical events, such as errors during DNA replication, or the exposure of the molecule to forms of radiation or various chemicals. Secondly, the loci at which mutations occur can be predicted, for some genes are regarded as mutation hotspots, exhibiting high mutation rates. For example, the gene for Huntington's disease mutates once every 200,000 generations, whereas the gene for various forms of dwarfism mutate only once every 20,000 generations. In fact, the only sense in which mutations are truly random is that their effects on phenotype are unpredictable. This is dictated primarily by the environmental context in which a mutation arises. The majority of expressed mutations are mostly detrimental. Cells of the animal body consist of two types, somatic and germ cells. Thus, the mutations that occur in these cell types include somatic mutations and germline mutations. Somatic mutations occur exclusively in body cells. Because reproductive cells aren't involved, such mutations will not be transmitted to future generations. Germline mutations occur in cells that ultimately form gametes. Thus, they have the potential to be passed on to future generations. The cause of mutations in either germ or somatic cells can be categorized as either being spontaneous or induced. Spontaneous mutations occur as a result of errors in biological processes, such as errors during DNA replication, whereas induced mutations are caused by environmental agents, such as radiation or the exposure of the DNA molecule to various chemicals. The simplest types of mutations are regarded as point mutations or base substitutions. Such changes occur when nucleotides in DNA are replaced with a different nucleotide. In this example, the sentence will represent a partial gene sequence, with the words of the sentence representing individual codons coding for amino acids of a polypeptide product. As we can see, changing a letter or a single nucleotide base can potentially alter a codon sufficiently so that it codes for a different amino acid in the final polypeptide product. Nonsense mutations involve base substitutions that create a stop codon where none previously existed. This results in premature chain termination during translation whereby the resulting polypeptide fragment is almost always non-functional. Missense mutations involve base substitutions that result in the alteration of the amino acid sequence. This might alter the shape or properties of the resulting polypeptide. For example, sickle cell anemia results from the substitution of glutamic acid for valine during the synthesis of hemoglobin. Silent mutations involve base substitutions that change the nucleotide sequence without changing the amino acid sequence of a polypeptide during translation. Deletions are alterations that remove information from a gene. A deletion could be as small as a single base or as large as the gene itself. Insertions occur when extra DNA is added into an existing gene. Both insertions and deletions 
can result in changes known as frame shifts. Within a gene, small deletions or insertions of a number of bases not divisible by 3 will result in a frame shift. The point of insertion or deletion necessitates the reorganization of the gene downstream from this change into new codons. These new codons will more than likely code for different amino acids, thus radically changing the final polypeptide product.